Good morning, everyone. How are we today? Once again, we bless the name of the Lord for his abundant grace upon our lives. We are a bit late today. I'm sorry for that. Jesus, we're sorry for our lateness, but guide and protect us today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, have your way, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We bind all the plans of the enemy against us today. Let all of them be frustrated in the might of Jesus. Father, have your way. O Lord Jesus, make a way for us today where there seems to be no way in the might of Jesus. My Lord, my God, protect us all through today, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. O Lord God, as we are going through your word, come and speak to each and every one of us today, Father, in the name of Jesus. Take us low control. Glorify your holy Lord, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you adorations. We thank you because you have done it. And I soak every soul in the blood of Jesus. Father, take us control. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Let us sing him 506. Oh Lord, my God, when I in answer wonder, want to go. Oh Lord, my God, when I in a song, consider all the world that has asked me. I see thy stars, I hear the mighty thunder. The power throughout the universe is plain. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. When, when through thy woes and forest land I wander, I hear the dead sing sweetly in thy tree. When, when I, I look down from lofty, mighty glander, I hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then sing my soul, my Savior, God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God is son of sparing, send him to the as guests can take it in. Then on that cross, my God and gladly bearing, he bleed and died to take away my sin. Then see my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then say, my soul, my Savior, go to thee. 
How great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, we shout of acclamation and take me home, one joy shall fill my heart. Then shall I bow in humble adoration. I dare proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sing, my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sing, my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Let us also sing 1022. Above all powers, above all kings. One to go. Above all powers, above all kings. Above all nature, the world created him. Above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones. Above all wonder, the world has ever known. Above all wealth and treasure of the earth, there is no way to measure what you want. Crucified, lay behind the stone. He lived to die, rejected alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground. You to the fore, I thought of me, above all, above all powers. Above all kings, above all nature, and all the ways of things, above all wisdom, and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, Above all thrones, above all wonder, the world has ever known. Above all wealth and treasure of the earth, there is no way to measure what you want. Crucified. Lay behind the stone, live to die, rejected alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground. You too, before I thought of me, above all. Crucified, lay behind the stone, you live to die, rejected alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground, you too before, I thought of me, above all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you once again, Lord. Jesus, accept our thanksgiving offering today, Lord. Accept our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, take preeminence this morning, Lord, in the might of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Today, we're going to use Jeremiah chapter 33, from verse 1 to 8, and we use 14 and year after. And the topic is, call to me, and I will answer you. Hallelujah. Jesus, God is calling us, he's telling us to, to call on him, to call to him, say he will answer us. Hallelujah. Please, we clear it for us. Jeremiah 33. Yes. One. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time, while he was still shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it, yeah. who established it, the Lord. Is his name. Hallelujah. Call to me, and I will answer you Amen. and show you great and mighty things which you don't know. Amen. For that says the Lord, the God of Israel, yes. concerning the house of the city yes. and the house of the king of Judah, Amen. which has been pulled down for. Uh, 45 against the sears, moods, and the souls. They come to fight with each other, but only to feed the first with the dead body of men who I will slay in my anger and my fury. Yes, all for whose witness I have the hidden my first from this city. Hmm. Behold, I will bring it health and the healing. Hmm. I will heal them and they reveal to them the abundance of peace yes. and the truth. Yes. And I will cause the captive of Judah and the captive of Israel to return. Amen. And the will and the will we build those places as at, as the first. Mm. I will cleanse them from all the uniquity yes. by which they have sinned against me. Mm. And I will pardon all the uniquity by which they have sinned and by, by which they have transgressed against me. Mm. Verse uh, 14. 14. Yeah, 14. And uh, don't worry, I'll take it from there. Praise the Lord. God bless us in Jesus' name. Uh, God, will, <clears throat> God was speaking to Jeremiah concerning what he's going to do to the city of Jerusalem and also to, the, to, to Judah because they transgress against him. The, the, the people of this, of this time, that is how we all have been behaving. Hallelujah. So he said, call to me and I will answer you. Say so we should call up unto him, whatever trouble that is facing us, whatever problem, anything that is around, God said he's going to answer us. Verse one. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the second time while he was still uh, confined in the court of the, of the guide, saying, why was, he, why was Jeremiah locked up? Because he speak the truth against uh, Zedekiah. You will see that in chapter, chapter 32. So because he prophesied and say, oh, this man, what you are doing is not right. God is going to make it possible for him to be taken to Babylon. So because he have power, 
he have a gag, he have everything. Then he pick him, pick him up and put, it, put him in prison. Praise God. So as he was still in prison, the world started coming to him. So no matter where you are, my brother, my sisters, the word of God never ceases. No matter the situation, God says speak. No matter what you think is happening to you, God is still on the throne. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changed. When we trust in him, he directs our path and he handles everything that we put under his care. So verse uh, two, he said, Thus says the Lord who made the earth and the, and sorry, who made the earth, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. That is God Almighty. So verse three, he said, "Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know." It's only God that can reveal to us the problem that we are having. It's only God that can make us to understand that those enemies that have gathered against us. It's only God that can also bring solution to this very problem whether in the land, whether in, in our personal life, whether in the family, God knows it all. That is why I say we should call, call upon him and he will answer us. Praise God. Uh, verse four, he said, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, concerning the house, concerning the house of this city, talking of Jerusalem, and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are broken down to make a, a defense against the siege, against the siege mode, and against the sword. Praise God. So God wants to reveal why it was broken down. He wants to reveal why that wall was was not, I mean, they were not able to fight that very well. My brother, my sisters, there is nothing what we can do for ourselves in terms of this world. It's God that, do, that does everything for us. So he said we shouldn't fight for ourselves because danger belongs to him. So because the children of Israel, those days, they were very stubborn too. And so also people of the world are still very stubborn today. They don't want to recognize God. Praise God. They don't want to know who God is. God is calling us that we should come and rest upon him. We should come and hand over every problem to him. We should sit down like what uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 1 said. He said, come, let us reason together. Praise God. So uh, Matthew told us, he said, come to me, all ye that are labor and heavily laden. He said, I will give you rest. Verse 29 of that verse, say, uh, 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 he said, he will give us rest because there's no other one that can give us rest. Praise God. So these people, verse, uh, verse five, he said, why they are coming to fight with the chardons and I will, sorry, uh, and to feed them with their corpses of men who I have slain in my anger and in my wrath. And I have hidden my face from the city because of their wickedness. This is the only reason that can make God to hide his face from us. When we sin against him, when we are practicing wickedness, when we are doing things that is not that is not right in his sight, God will not show us his face to that very problem. So he, he, he said that he, he is the one that slayed them. Look at it here now. God is saying he can kill. You understand? He can also make a life. He said he slayed them because of his, I mean, for, he said, um, I take that I have slayed them in my anger 
and in my wrath, he was angry. That is why he killed him. So God can be angry too, and God can kill, and God can also make a life. Praise God. Verse 6, it said, Behold, I will bring, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them, and I will, I will reveal to them an ab abundance of peace and truth. He said, they, we, he said we should come to him that is ready to make amend with us. He's ready to heal us. He's also going to give us an abundant peace and truth. He will show us great and mighty thing. That is what he said in verse 2. He said Jeremiah should come. We are the Jeremiah today. Put yourself in that very position. Whatever problem that we are facing, no matter how the enemy have tied us together, God is still God. He said we should come to him and he will give us abundant peace and good health. Praise God. When you are sick, who are you going to call to? Majority of us, when we are sick or when anything happens, who we, the person we will think about is GP. But let us call upon God, first of all. Let us handle it, hand over that sickness or that problem into the hands of God. Because even before ambulance will come, I pray that ambulance will not come to your door in Jesus' name. Something that will bring ambulance to your door, God will not let it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. So before that ambulance will come, let's continually pray. It may be possible by the time they come there, the paramedic come to that place, they will now say, oh, there is nothing for us to handle here. Everything is working fine. Praise God. So we should learn how to call upon him. Then verse 7, he said, I will restore the fortunes of Judah and the fortunes of Israel, and I will rebuild them as they were at first. There is a covenant which God has for you. He's telling us right now this morning that he's going to renew us again. He, he said the fortune, the promises that he had for us, he said he's going to restore us back. But, it's, but there is a condition. That condition is for us to follow him, to obey his voice. Praise God. So he said he will restore us back because he's the one that makes us. He will rebuild us. That foundation that have been, that have been destroyed, that have that have been damaged. God is telling us this morning that he will rebuild us again. He's the only God that can make this type of promise. The promises that he's making for us, no other man, husband, wife, kings, um, prime minister, president, they cannot make that promises. They can, they, when they use their mouth to say all those things during election or during anything, but at the time they win that election, you will see that they will be diverted from whatever they have promised. But God doesn't, prom God doesn't promise us and fail us. Praise God. So he said we should call up on, on, on him and he will answer us. What is it that, that is paining us? What, in what area in life do we need Christ? Praise God. So verse 8, he said, I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they were sinned by, sorry, by which they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their, all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me and by which they have transgressed against me. Hallelujah. Let us read verse 14. For, Verse 14 and some part of 21 and 22. You will now see the, 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 the promise of God, the covenant of God in our life. God never break his covenant. Hallelujah. He said he will cleanse us up. He's the one that brought us from darkness into this marvelous light. He's the one that is showing the way. He's the one that is dressing us, dressing us up. Not that he, he, he put on clothes on you. He still put on clothes on the ground that he gives you the power to even do it. Praise God. Hallelujah. He brought us from our iniquity. When you were sick, when you were, everything was happening, 
when I was in the world, even myself, he brought me out. I said, David, that is, Matthew, that is not the right way to go. So come to me and I will answer you. Hallelujah. Verse 14. He said, behold, days are coming, declare the Lord, when I will fulfill the good word which I have spoken against you. Sorry, which I have spoken concerning you, the, concerning the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Say so days are coming that he's going to fulfill it. Praise God. So we should continually, or we have to be patient too, to wait for that very day to come. Hallelujah. Then verse, uh, verse 19, he said, and the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, Thus says the Lord, if you can break the, if you can break the covenant of day and covenant of night, so that day and night will not be at their appointed time. Listen to that. Verse, tw verse 20, 21. Then my covenant may also be broken with, with David, my servant, and he shall not have a son to, to reign on his throne. And with the uh, Levitic, Levitical priest, my ministers, verse 22, as the host of heaven cannot be count, and the sound of the sea cannot be measured. So I will multiply the descendant of David, my servant, and the Levites who minister in who minister to me. Praise God. What is God telling us here? Is giving us full assurance that if you can break the covenant of day and, and the night, if you can break it, meaning you will be able to break the covenant or the covenant that they have with you. And nobody can break that covenant of day and night. Praise God. It's only Joshua when he went forward those days. That is why we have 366 days in one of the years. Uh, and some of, uh, the other one is 365 because he asked God to, 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 to command his, he commanded his son to stand still until he finished his enemy. Praise God. So it was stand still. And that was what is still happening today. So God cannot break his covenant if we stand firm with him. It's only we that break our own covenant. Say so if we can break that covenant of day and night, meaning the covenant that we have with us can also be broken. And that covenant, we cannot break the covenant of day and night. So our covenant with God cannot be broken unless we sin against him. So God is assuring us this morning that no matter who you are, his covenant is strong and strong in you. He's not going to break it. Only obey his voice and follow him. Hallelujah. No matter what you are doing, God is calling us today that we should follow him, that he is the one to carry us along. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, we have to hold God to ransom. We have to know how to call upon him before any other, in any situation, before any other solution will be taken up. Hallelujah. So, I want us to start thanking God for his word this morning. Lord Jesus, we bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that you have done and what you're ready to do. We just thank you for your word this morning, O Lord, for your mighty hand upon us, O Lord. Father, we thank you. We also bless you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Jesus. I cannot wake myself up without you. Jesus, I bless you. We can't wake that child up without God. We cannot wake, wake anybody up. It's only God that can wake us up. Father, we bless your holy Lord. We worship you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let us now pray 
according to the topic. He said, call to me and I will answer you. Let us now continue to pray. In every area that we know we, we want God to answer us, is it our career or our children's life? Call upon him. He said he will answer. Lord Jesus, we are calling upon you this morning, O oh Lord. Jesus, answer us, O oh Lord, in every area of our life. Answer everyone, Lord, under the sound of my voice, Lord. No matter the situation they are, Lord Father, I am surrounding them to you, O oh Lord. I am rededicating every family under the sound of my voice right now. Even my own family, the children, everyone, O oh Lord, wherever they may be. Father, I rededicate them this morning into your able hand. Father, answer us in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer us, O Lord, and bring solution to that very problem. Heal everyone that is sick in the mighty name of Jesus. That heart that is broken this morning, O Lord. You are the only God that can mend it together. You are the only God that can comfort that very person. You are the only God that can bring a life, O Lord. Jesus, Father, have your way, O Lord. Mend that heart, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. That person that is confused and say, oh, I don't know if God can do it. My brother, my sisters, God can still do it for you. Trust in and call upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. We are calling upon you this morning, O oh Lord. Jesus, answer us with, with your mighty power in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer us today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father, and let your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. In that verse 5, he said, I have slain in, I have, I have, that is the B part. He said, I have slain in my anger and in my wrath. You can see that when we sin against God, his anger is in us. Let us now ask for forgiveness this morning. I say, Lord, my forefathers, my generations, my great great grandfather, whatever sin, even myself, any sin that I've sinned, Father, that will make things not to move, not, not to make the covenant of God not to stand in our life. Father, have mercy upon us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, we call upon you, Father. Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to your word, oh Lord, Father, remove your anger out from us, oh Lord. Have mercy upon us, oh Lord. Have mercy upon our family. Have mercy, Lord, upon our generation. Have mercy upon the city. My place of birth, oh Lord, pray for that very country right now. Pray for that village. Pray for that house. Pray for that city where you were born. That God should have mercy because he has chosen you, because you are following him, because you are doing his will. Ask God to have mercy upon your house uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have mercy. Of even upon this land that I'm standing on, Father, have mercy, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, have mercy upon us, O oh Lord. Jesus, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Upon everything that I have done wrong, O oh Lord, Jesus, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have promised, O oh Lord, let your covenant stand in my life, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. He said, Behold, I will bring to it health and healing. I will heal them. Let us now pray. Make sure that place that you need healing of God this morning. As put your hand in that place. Conf I mean, just release, surrender everything to him and say, Lord, I cannot do anything. When the body of a car is damaged, where do you take it to? You take it to the mechanic because they are the one that know how to do it. They may be part of those that design it. Let us now continue to pray and say, Lord, I bring my body to you today, O oh Lord. Father, remove every sicknesses. Heal me, O oh Lord, as you have promised. Heal me, Father, where I need healing. Transform me, Father, where I need transformation. Transform that child. Heal that child, O oh Lord. Heal my husband. Heal my wife. Continue to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, as your word has said, O oh Lord, in uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6, O oh Lord, you say you will bring healing to my house. You say you will heal us all. You will say you will give us peace. Continue to ask for that peace right now. When you are set free, when you are made whole, the, you will see, you will, or you will feel the peace of God in your life. Continue to ask for that peace right now. And say, Lord, heal every department of my life. Heal my finances, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Heal my career. Heal my marriage. Heal every soul that is around me, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, 
Oh Lord God, heal us all. According to your word this morning, heal us, oh Lord. Wherever we need healing, Jesus, heal us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Transform us today, oh Lord. Anywhere we need transformation, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, transform us, oh Lord. We need your peace, the, your peace, oh Lord. Father Lord, let it surround us today, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. It's your word, oh Lord. Heal, your, heal, your, heal every department of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us that abundant peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, heal us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before we go for that, let us now pray for that covenant and say, Lord, Jesus, remember the covenant that you have with me, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, remember the covenant, O Lord. There is a reason why you created me, Father. Jesus, remember that covenant this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, remember your covenant with us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal every department of my life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, remember that covenant and let it stand, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. May 7 say, I will restore the fortune of Ju Judah and the fortunes of Israel. I will rebuild. Let us now pray. God promised to rebuild, to rebuild us all that whatever that has been damaged in our life, our foundation, that God should refurbish us. God should rebuild us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we need you today, O oh Lord. Father, rebuild us, O oh Lord. Anything that is damaged, wherever that is whole in our life, Father, rebuild us right now. Anything that is uh, be damaged in our foundation, in our destiny, in our marriage, in our children's life. Father, rebuild that child, O oh Lord, either a boy or a girl. Father, rebuild, rebuild us all in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, rebuild us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebuild us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Omnipresent and omnipotent God, rebuild us, O oh Lord, as we are calling upon you this morning. Father, rebuild us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. That verse 14, he said, I will fulfill the good, I will fulfill the good word which I have spoken concerning the house of Israel and concerning the house of Judah. Let us now pray and say, Lord, remember those promises, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God. Fulfill your promises in my life. Let the promises that you have for me, let them be fulfilled, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The promise of God never fail. Let us now ask for it right now. The promise of God upon our children. The promise of God, because God say he's going to gather us once again. He's going to bring us back down to the original place that he has destined for us. Father Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, there is a covenant, O Lord, and there is a promise which you have to fulfill in my own life, in my destiny, O Lord. You say, when I obey you, when I call upon you, you will answer me. My Lord, my God, Father, Holy Spirit, remember that covenant, O Lord. Remember your promises in my life today, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, remember your promises in our life, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, remember all your promises in our life today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control. Glorify your holy Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Pray for that person that is sick right now. Let us pray. I say, Lord, remember the, that very man or remember that woman. Remember that person that is sick right now, either in your house or among your brothers, among your sisters, or among the children, or either the husband or the wife. Ask God to intervene into that situation right now. There is nothing God cannot do. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, give that person a spiritual surgery right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That person that they have, they have given an appointment. Oh, he's coming. I mean, have to come for surgery. Father Lord Jesus, touch the life of that very person right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You know who that person is, Lord. Father, take, the, take care of that very person. Take that man or that woman to your surgery this morning, oh Lord, and pray that very person yourself. Remove that sickness out from that very body in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy Lord. We worship you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Let us now continue to commit this day into the hands of God. Today is the 25th day. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, glorify your holy Lord in the life of every man, every woman. Glorify yourself, O oh Lord, in our life today. We surrender every, 
whatever we are going to do today, O oh Lord, everything that we are going to do. Father, be the chairman of faith in the name of Jesus. All those good things that we edify you, Lord, Father, glorify yourself, O oh Lord, in the, might, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be the chairman of this very temple today, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Be the chairman of everything those men and women are going to do, Father Lord Jesus. Those things that will bring glory unto your holy name, Father Lord Jesus, touch their life today. Even those that haven't known you, Father, draw evangelists to their way, O oh Lord, that will speak to each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let them go astray, O oh Lord, those that are backsliding because of the problem that they have. You have said we should call upon you and you will answer us, Lord. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, touch the heart of that backslider uh, person right now, those that are backsliding. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch their heart right now in the mighty name of Jesus and bring them to the original position in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit. Pray for your children this morning. Let us pray for our children that God will continually uphold them. God should bring them to his to the, to the center of the table so that they will come and eat from him. As you have known him, my brother, my sisters, ask God to, to draw the children, to touch their heart, because it's God that touched your heart that make him to know you. It's him that make you to know him. It's him that performed that miracle that make you to say, oh, God is all in all. Ask God this morning to touch the heart of the children in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter any of them that they, the enemy have locked up, God is able to remove that child from that very prison in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, either physical or spiritual prison, remove our children, oh, Lord, from every prison they have found themselves. Whatever they have done to themselves, Father, Lord Jesus, I break that yoke out from their neck this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Intervene into their life, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch their life and bring them back in the mighty name of Jesus. Perform that miracle, that great miracle, perform it, oh Lord, in, the, in their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are healed among, sorry, those that are sick among them, Father, heal them, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal everyone, heal their mind, oh Lord, and give them the mind of forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, touch them, Holy Spirit. Jesus, have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus right now. Father, I soak every soul today, oh Lord, into your able blood right now. Father, I rededicate every soul into your blood right now, into your power, O oh Lord, into your hand, into your control, in the mighty name of Jesus. Control, control us all in the mighty name of Jesus, and let all glory be unto you, O oh Lord, and not to the enemy, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. God bless us all. Our brothers and sisters, remember uh, the last two days of this month, from Monday, we start our three days prayer and fasting, and God will bless us. I pray for God to give you the strength to, to join, and God will answer you in Jesus' name. God will answer us all in Jesus' name. Amen.